So today I want to walk you through the back office visualizer package for Umbraco. This is for version 7. It should run on any version, although it was developed for 7.3. And the first step that you'll want to take to check out this package is to go to the settings tab, which we're already on. So if you click that, you'll end up here. You can see that by the nice little border in the corner there. And then click on the back office visualizer tab. Once you see that, you're going to end up with this uh, doc type composition relationships and this very fancy graph over to the right and a bit of instructions over here. So the first thing you should probably know is that there's only one setting at the moment, but it will show doc types without compositions. When you see the graph on the opening screen, you see that these are all doc types that are either a composition or their doc type that has compositions attached to it. Just to avoid having a whole bunch of noise in there, we have this checkbox that will allow you to show doc types without compositions. And if you click that, you'll see that all these extra doc types have been added uh, and that they don't have any compositions attached to them. And you can hide them again with another click of a button. So this is a lot of data and the graph's probably a little confusing at first if you don't know what you're looking at. So I'm going to explain it to you. This is called a chord diagram and it maps the relationships that things might have to each other. In this case, we're mapping a many to many relationship. A component is going to have relationships to multiple doc types uh, that don't have components. And then a non-component doc type is going to possibly mapped, be mapped to multiple component doc types. You can also use a chord diagram to show like how many things are attached to something and have numbers and then the lines will be bigger or smaller. But in this case, it's kind of one-to-one, -one, so you don't have to worry about that so much. So all of these guys with little lines here are our doc types that are not components. And all of these guys that are attached to a huge amount of things here and all the way around are our doc types that are components and are mapped to other doc types. So if you hover over one of these guys, it's going to hide everything else. And you can see our base page, which is pretty much our master doc type for this website, is attached to pretty much every single other page here. But if you come down here to say uh, component security, then that guy's only mapped to doc types that are secure pages that are locked for members only. So it doesn't have nearly as many. And of course, if you hover over a document type itself, then it's going to show you the components that are attached to it. So we're looking at the contact page here and it's connected to the base page and also to the intro and also to the headline. There we go. And you'll also notice that if we click on it, then this changes over here and it gives you a bit more information about the doc type in text format because you may not be able to directly see the lines properly how you want to for the graph. So we thought it would make more sense. And if you click on one of these guys, it's going to highlight it on the graph and switch out this converse, this whole uh, section over here. So if we click on the home page, it's going to show you the parts of the graph that the home page are uh, is connected to. It's the base page, of course, the headline and the intro. But if we click on the component intro over here, then it's going to show you all the pages that happen to use that intro. Now, in some cases, you may end up having, say, the text page. Let me find it over here. Most of these pages inherit from base. And there's this inheritance over here. So base page is a composition and it has uh, other doc types that are attached to it. But in this case, the base page, if we open up our document types over here, and this is going to take a little few moments just because I'm in the US and the database is, I think, in France or Germany or something. So it takes it a few minutes. But while that's opening, then you'll see that the base page is actually a parent page for a bunch of other doc types. There you go, scroll down. This site has a lot of doc types. That's why we wanted to use it as our example for this particular package. The base page is the parent to a lot of doc types. So if there's inheritance, that means that the base that any of the pages listed here, and it would be in a breadcrumb format. And in this case, we only go down one. So you can see there's no other drop down windows here by any of these other guys. But if say you were inheriting from the text page, 
for example, then this would show inheritance and it would say base page, text page, you can go down the line. And that, so the other thing that you can do from here is click the edit button and this will actually open that doc type for you. And I can click it, but it's gonna take another eternity to open. So I'm just gonna wait on that. But you can click on this and that's gonna take you right to the doc type so that you can edit it straight from there. So that's the basics of uh, the core diagram and how it shows the doc type relationships between doc types that are not components and the component doc types that are attached to them.